this year in, in, in building teamwork and togetherness yeah. was a whole lot easier because these guys may be new to fans, but they're not new to you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, everybody talks about these transfers that we're adding this year, but they've been on campus for a whole year now, so uh, it's really just a kind of just a lengthening of last season, honestly, with all the guys and just building that chemistry. And it's been really easy this summer. Um, a lot of familiar faces still, so we're excited for the game to start and for the fans to kind of see what we've been, we've been working on. But that being said, I mean, you had to go through that situation yourself where yeah. you were just practicing for a year. So you, so you know that you don't maybe feel quite a part of it yeah. until you're part of it. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I can definitely uh, attest to that as I sat out uh, my junior year and then came back playing last season. So um, during that year sit out, you, you're just so like amped to the games. I mean, the practices are basically your games that, that season. So, um, you know, once the games come around, it's just definitely a different feeling. Um, to be able to kind of show what you've been working on the past whole year. And I know these, all these new guys are excited and we're excited to have them. With Jerry, we had an injury. Yeah. Were you able to particularly help him out since you had to overcome some Yeah, physical. yeah, I was always talking to Jerry, uh, making sure mentally. You know, physically, as an athlete, you put yourself through so much. Um, physically, it's, it's almost the easier part. You know, mentally doing the same stuff over and over again, rehab and, and that daily grind is the biggest thing. So, um, you know, I was constantly talking to him and he, he worked his butt off, and now he's back practicing with us, and we're excited to have him. Sure. What do you look for? This? I mean, you've been around the guys every yeah. day, and you, you put them in, in the mix with everybody else. Yeah. So how good can this group be? Yeah, I think this guy's the limit. I mean, talent-wise, talent we have, you know, a, a, everyone on the team brings something a little different to the to the roster. So um, as long as we mix those talents together, that's going to be the biggest thing is finding that, um, finding that kind of that that sweet spot that each player needs in order to be impactful. So uh, if we can get everyone to be on the same page, it would be, be awesome. What is this season about for you, fifth year? Seems like I'm sure you've been yeah. here forever, and yet... Uh, yeah, I mean, I, obviously I've set out goals uh, team-wise. I, I want to win the A-10 and make it to the NCAA tournament. That's what, I, I, that's what I did my freshman, sophomore year. And it's always been the same goal each year, so this is, this is nothing different. How is the new three-point line going to affect you and the team? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. In terms of spacing, I think it'll definitely help us out, especially with the talent, the talent, guys, the talent level we have, and guys who can really shoot the ball and being able to uh, space the court and let you know, guys like Jalen, Rodney, and Obi, Obi have that space to work with. I think it's going to be huge for us. Um, I mean, we've been we've been practicing with it all summer, so I don't know. I, I haven't really been able to tell a huge difference in terms of makes and misses. Um, but obviously, once the games come around, it's a different feeling, different atmosphere, and whatnot. So. Uh, yeah, I think it'll definitely bring a different dynamic to the, to the game. How do you think this team will play differently, similar to the past couple of teams? I think we're definitely going to play fast. I mean, we have a bunch of guys who can really play, really score, defend. I mean, that, that's the biggest thing is defense. You know, if you can get stops and get out in transition. I mean, this team out in transition, we just have guys who run like deer. So, um, if we can do that, get a couple easy baskets, it'll definitely help us out. How different are you physically now than two, you were two years ago? Uh, really, uh, just you know, much bigger than what I was my freshman year. It's kind of crazy because I was like looking at you my freshman year, uh, sophomore year, and I could like really see it, like how much you got a big guy. So I really think I got a lot of bigger. You just feel better. Yeah, yes sir, for sure. And I feel like I got my legs got stronger. And of course, my my body got stronger. Do you think you can be even more productive this year by playing fewer minutes? Uh, for sure, because uh, like last year, in my freshman year, like uh, towards the end of the game, I was tired. You know, uh, when you're tired, you shoot the ball, you like most likely to miss your shot. So like, I think I'll be more productive this year. How will you guys play differently in the past two seasons? Master, you know. Got more depth. It's gonna be a different team, but how will you play that way support? Um, I would think we have the same you know, DNA, but I think we will play much faster than we played last year. Because I think we have much fresh legs. And the three-point line is a little bit different, a little bit farther back. How would you think that will affect you and the team? Uh, I don't think it will affect us uh, because you know, hey, we've been practicing with the um, you know, three-point line back, so I think. I don't think it was a big adjustment, really. You guys need to be a better three-point shooting team, though. Is that something that you guys are focused on? Oh, yeah. For sure. Uh, you know, you know, three, 
threes are much more than two, so he can get those and knock down. I think he can you know, score like that. Well, you're good for mid court, though, right? Say it again? You're good for mid court, though, right? Oh, uh, yeah. BCU, right? <laughs> <You're good. laughs> Ask me. <laughs> no, but you shot the ball pretty well, uh, you know, last year. You yeah. proved from your freshman year. You can go even better this year. Sure. Yeah? yeah. yeah. What do you think? How much do you practice now? Uh, you know, after every practice, you know, I try to get up a lot of shots, like 100 shots after every practice. So, like, um, you know, I practice a lot. So, uh, hopefully, I get it, uh, I can get it up this year. Especially, you know, like I said, like last year, my first year, I was tired towards the end of the game. Yeah. Like, just shoot. So, I think I'm going to be better for sure. The, the eyeball test may not mean anything, but when I look at this team, you're long and strong. I mean, this is, this is as physical a group as I've ever seen. Right yeah, well, I mean, it's good to, good to have um, a chance to get everybody here together. It's early in the year, obviously, we're still in September, so trying to put it together. And you guys have done a good job. We, we had a good summer, you know, and then now it's just the process of trying to get ready. Practice is start on October 1st, so we'll get a, a chance to kind of you know, figure out what we have once we, once we get everybody together. You got the physical basis with, with what you've been able to do in the offseason, then you start to put together the, put together the, the building blocks on top of that. Yeah, so we, we'll try to take it in stages. You know, for the for me, for the summer, is trying to get us to understand defensively, you know, the improvements that we need to make, and we're trying to get some, some rhythm offensively. The offseason, to me, is more individually based in terms of here's some skill sets that we want to add to and some, some things that we want to refine. And then once we start, uh, once school starts, then we get more into team, team activities in terms of how we want to play offensively. So much about basketball, particularly defense, is about talking and communicating. Do you have any uh, sense of what type of team this could be as far as communicating well with each other? Yeah, you know, all that stuff is kind of hard to judge because we haven't started practice yet. But I, I tell you this, I think this is a team that so far with what we've seen, uh, they really get along well together. Uh, there's a respect level they have for each other. Uh, there's a competitiveness that they, they, they enjoy, they embrace. So those are good signs, you know. And, uh, once we get started, I think we'll be able to kind of see where we are and then we'll, what kind of jumps we need to make as we prepare for the season. As, the se as you get ready for the season, is it about building trust in each other? With you. That's, yeah, that's always the case. That's always the case. And obviously, you know, like, like we talked about, that's the foundation of the relationship, right? So it's no different on the team. So I, I think uh, this is a, a new team, a different group than what we had uh, last year. And uh, they'll have to find that together themselves. And uh, you know, I think the process in terms of where we're starting, we're starting in a good place. we got a bunch of guys that care for each other, a bunch of guys that are excited about representing the University of Dayton and looking forward to, to getting started here. Building that identity, it takes a while, even though these guys practiced with you last year. It's an identity that, that you're going to have to figure out the minutes and everything else in it. Yeah, and that, that's the beauty of, of every year you have a new team and you try to put that together. So we, we got a good starting point in terms of the quality of guys that we have, just from a character and work ethic standpoint. And obviously we're fortunate to have a level of talent as well. So we've got to put that together and figure out how to become the best version that we can become for this upcoming season. Three-point line is a little bit deeper. Does that help your team? Does it, uh, is it going to be something you got to get used to? Yeah, you know, so far, uh, I don't think it's had a big impact on, on any of our guys. Um, I, I like it from the standpoint. I think it provides better space on the floor. And uh, you know, I think for our guys, they're comfortable and confident you know, with, the, with the new changes that have been made. But, you know, there'll, there'll be some adjustments with, obviously, the shot clock restarting at 20 if you get an offensive rebound. Obviously, some, some other minor adjustments that we'll have to make, but that's part of why you why you get out and practice the score and you get yourself prepared. Think this team could be a better three-point shooting team? We'll see. You know, it's hard to predict here in September, but uh, you know, I certainly like the pieces we have. How has the team's help uh, as you know, start to practice? Yeah, that's been a, you know, up and down. Nothing. Uh, we've had some guys out here and there, but nothing that's serious. Knock on wood. I think hopefully by the time we start the season, we should have everybody ready to go.